I've heard us described as, as the Hogwarts of Morganton. Harry felt like he had all of these powers, the special gift that no one seemed to, to realize and understand until he got to Hogwarts. For deaf students who might be the only deaf child they know, so when they come here they realize that there is a world of students who communicate the same way they do, and they get to find their special power, their special strength. The North Carolina School for the Deaf is in Morganton, in Burke County. We're a residential and day program for deaf and hard of hearing students in the westernmost 47 counties of North Carolina. I like to work in the background, you know, the paperwork, the logistics of getting programs set up. I want to take that off teachers. So much of our learning comes through incidental learning. Uh, a small child not only learning from their teacher, but learning from everything that's going on in the world around them. And if um, a deaf child is, is funneled uh, into communication through one source, one interpreter, they're losing a lot of that incidental learning. Research has shown that deaf students think differently than hearing students. So it, it's really important to realize that their first language is a visual language. And secondly, 90% of deaf students have hearing parents, which means that maybe growing up until age five or six, they may not have been getting access to that language. They see people's lips moving, but they may not understand what that means. And we look at STEM as a visual kinesthetic way of getting kids involved in their education. We're also looking at that as a way to build their language. So rather than sitting students down in a pullout or an intervention session where they're one-on-one, -on -one, we have them involved in robotics. So we're developing those problem solving and critical thinking and teamwork skills, all the while building in not only social language, but academic language. It didn't take long before we saw results. And not only academic achievement, paper test scores results, we saw the kids had reached a new level of engagement, were excited, couldn't wait to do more. We've got a team, um, and having a team is like having a family. It's crazy, <laughs> but then you work together, make things happen, and I enjoy being part of that and building, doing the measuring, the engineering of it. Once it all comes together and the different systems, I feel like, wow, this is really cool. I never really experienced technology or all those other things, and especially robotics. It's so much fun. So when you have the kids hooked and bought in and, and enthusiastic, your teachers love your students, your students love what they're doing, and so the teachers want more of it. Serena has been someone that uh, will spend the time and energy to give us what we need in the classroom to support our teaching. She's very happy to look for different resources for us, um, and it's nice to have someone like that that's ready to roll up their sleeves and get to work. She always tells us to go for it if we have an idea. I feel like when I came here, I feel like I finally belonged somewhere. We have the best kids in the world, and, and they are so eager to learn. And their aha moments come more regularly. Their aha moments light up the classroom, and that our kids motivate me.